We're back with the 1993 on CR125. If you guys missed last video, go check it out. I picked this thing up from the guy and uh, he tells me that it does not run and it does not shift past third gear. We ended up taking apart the engine and finding that uh, one of the shift forks was in the wrong position. So it would only shift to third and it wouldn't allow it to shift past third. So we figured that problem out. And then the no starting problem was the choke on the carb. The choke on the carburetor was stuck up, so it was allowing way too much fuel to go into the engine. So we figured out both problems, but uh, unfortunately to fix the shifting problem, we had to tear apart the whole engine. So today we're putting it all back together and hopefully taking it for the first ride. So we have a ton of work to do. We got a brand new full engine gasket kit here from Tusk. We've got a new air filter cage. The one in it was missing, so we wanted that. Uh, we got brand new chain, sprockets, air filter, and then repacking material for the silencer. All right, before we can put these case halves back together, we have to strip the gasket material off of it. Unfortunately, two strokes have gaskets between the engine cases. Four strokes, you just use gasket maker. So this is kind of a tedious job. We'll take a razor blade and kind of just work our way around. Hopefully this one peels off pretty easily. Looks like it's fairly new. So we'll just go in and peel this gasket off. Yeah, it's coming right off, so that's good. Sometimes these are really, really on there. But you want to get all the material off, otherwise your cases are going to leak. And that's like the worst case scenario. You get the whole bike back together and then you have leaky cases. So then you have to tear it all back down. <laughs> we don't want that. So we'll work at this for a little bit and then go on to the next case. All right, case halves are all cleaned as best as I could get them. It took about a half an hour to clean all the cases off of the gasket material. We are going to get the new gasket on now. Got some of this ultra black gasket maker we're gonna use. So we'll put that around first and then the gasket on top of that. Just to thin them out. Get our double pins in as well. All right, a little assembly lube going on. All the gears here. lube on the bearings. All the bearings felt good. Alright, looks like we've got everything in place here. Just get this other half on.
All right, that went on pretty easily. Almost too easy. <laughs> All right, case halves are back together. Let's see if it shifts now. So this is, let's see. that's fourth gear. There's third gear. Second. Neutral. Back up here. There's neutral, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So all the gears are there. Everything's working perfectly. So we can start reassembling this thing. So what goes in first is going to be this mechanism right here. The shift mechanism. So we're gonna be lock tightening these bolts in, so put a little bit on the threads. Oop, that's a little too much. Let's get those ready. Alright, close that up. And then we're just going to install this. I had to already press in the pins. You can see the pins in here. So these retract, you can see they squish in. So this is going to be installed just like this. You have to just press in these just a little bit. That goes right there. Zip those on. All right, now we can get the shift shaft through. Washer on here. So this can go on. Get the washer off of here for. So there's a spring right there. Right, time to get the clutch on here. Get the clutch bearing in here. In your basket. Not going in. Start with the friction plate. Then we've got our washer, our lock washer here. There you
And then after we torque that down, we've got the ball. And that goes like that. It's working. All right, we've got the stator going in here. Now oh, we've got our flywheel going on. Right, new gasket for the reeds going on. Just gonna put a little bit of the ultra black on it. Alright, time to get the piston on here. Let's get this base gasket on first. Again, a little bit of the ultra black. Alright, gasket going on. Looking good. Let's get that piston on. Fit up a little bit. Piston. It's crazy this piston only has one ring. Alright, the arrow is going to point towards the exhaust, so I'll go down like this. All right, clutch side cover going on here. Gotta make sure everything lines up perfectly, everything's smooth.
All right, let's get the cylinder on next. Everything's cleaned off, ready to go. Make sure the ring is in the right spot here. All right, so the head bolts are torqued to 20 foot-pounds in a crisscross pattern. Perfect. All right, we have a lot of the bike back together. We've got the carburetor on, all the hoses on. Everything's looking good. Let's get the air filter on next. We've got a brand new air filter for it. We're not messing around. I think this is already oiled up as well. Oh yeah, it's already oiled up. So we can get this onto All right, we got the cage on here, looking good. It's all lined up. Let's get that uh, installed next.
All right, we have a new front sprocket for it. Right here. That's gonna go on like that. Uh, we gotta get that chain out of there though. There's the old chain. All right, we have to get this back wheel off to get the sprocket changed out. Get that nut off quick. There's the nut. Big washer on there. Palm that out. Here's the old sprocket. And here's the new one. We have to cut the chain to length. Let's see where we're at here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight.
Nothing's coming through right here. short now. Hopefully not. Alright, chain's on, looking good. It is a 520 chain, it's the same chain as the other chain, so it should work out pretty good. It's just an O-ring chain instead of the, uh, the standard chain, so that's why it's a little bit thicker. But uh, it should work, so we'll see. Um, Let's pack that silencer next. All right, here's the silencer. It's a pro circuit silencer. Let's see if we can get this thing repacked. We might put a couple rivets in it as well. Or another screw. It's not held on by too much. Just one screw right now. Okay. All right. See how it's about the same thickness, so it should work. I have to roll this up a little bit tighter. All right, pipe is on, nice and secure. We've got a couple more bolts in the bottom here to hold that on before it was just loose and horrible. So the whole pipe is back on, ready to go. All packed and that should work pretty good. All right, let's get some oil in this thing. It takes uh, 650 milliliters. Let's get that in there. Hopefully everything's nice and sealed tight. Three hundred milliliters left is what we need. Just a little bit more. Perfect. All right, that is tapped off. All right, here we go, first start attempt. Let's see if she fires up. We'll choke it first, and then we'll kick it over a couple times, see what happens.
All right, let's try to get this thing to idle. It does not want to idle. Sounds pretty good. All right, going through all the gears too. So I think it's ready for the first ride. All right, made it up to the land. We're going to do the first test drive on this thing. See if it moves, what we need to do to it yet. Um, I didn't look at the carburetor at all. So um, we might possibly need to clean that if it runs crappy or possibly rejet it. I'm guessing it's probably not rejetted for the pipe, but we will see. Um, it's getting late. It's already six o'clock. Sun goes down at 6.45. So I have 45 minutes to get this thing running perfectly.
So first ride went pretty good. Um, I expected it to run a little bit weird uh, just because we haven't gone through the carb, but it shifts through all the gears nicely. So we fixed that issue and it runs, you know, really good. It idles, stays running. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, besides when you really get on it, it, it sounds like it's breaking up. And you guys could probably hear it in the GoPro footage. It just sounds like maybe it's running a little bit rich. Um, so. I think we're going to take a look at the carburetor, just see what kind of jets are in there. I'm on the Pro Circuit website right now. It says for 1993, let's see what it says here, CR125. Pro Circuit is a 165 main, a 55 pilot, and um, needle in the second position, the clip, air screw 1.5 turns out. All right, I don't have a whole lot of time. I have about 20 minutes to figure this out. Let's take a peek at the carb. Main jet two or partially clogged. It's gonna dump a bunch of gas all over. <laughs> okay, there's definitely water in the gas. I'm seeing some water droplets in the gas, actually. 
So that could definitely be the problem. I didn't think to check that. But there's definitely water in the gas. So that could be one problem. <laughs> I uh, drained the gas tank, but I never checked the carb, so maybe maybe there's something in the carb here. So it looks like we're running a 169 for the main. Uh, the pilot. We have a clogged pilot, but we're running a 42 for the pilot, and that sucker's clogged. It's like for 1993 CR125, we need a 55 for the pilot, not a 42. Huh. And we need a 165 for the main. Alright, so I got a... 52 pilot, that's the closest I could find. I couldn't find the 55, so 52 is better than a 42. So let's put that in there. And that's clear, so at least it's not clogged now. And then we've got a 165, that's what they recommended, instead of a 150 or 169. So let's put that in there. All right, let's see if that was clogged. <sighs> nope, it was not clogged. <sighs> right. Get your cat back on here. Get our bowl back on and see if that makes a difference. All right, let's see what happens here. Alright, so changing the jetting definitely helped. Uh, it's still not perfect. Um, so I'm thinking it's the needle position causing problems. So we're going to look into the needle position and uh, I think that's going to fix their problem. Right, It's like right before you hit top RPMs, you can kind of hear it breaking up a little bit and then it like shoots off like a rocket. So I'm thinking that's the needle position. But uh, you guys feel free to leave your recommendations on what you guys think it is. I'm thinking it's the needle position considering we put the recommended jets in there so it's close it's super close um, you can hear it wanting to take off and sometimes when you shift perfect it does sound perfect but um, it's just a little hesitation at the top before it shoots off like a rocket and uh, I'd like to get rid of that um, but it's it's super close and I'm pretty sure once I change that needle it'll be good to go 
So I'm really happy with it. This bike was $700. I didn't put a whole lot of money into it. New grips, gasket kit, packing for the pipe, air filter, air filter cage. I think I put like 150 bucks into it, maybe 200 tops. And uh, we've got a good running bike. We just need some new tires and uh, this bike will be pretty nice. It'd be really nice with new pipe and new plastics and a graphics kit. But uh, we'll see what we're gonna do. Yeah, it took me about 12 hours to rebuild it, but uh, I think it was worth it. It's a running, driving bike for around 850 bucks. So, not too bad. Hope you guys enjoyed the video on this thing, rebuilding it, getting it to run, getting it to shift, and uh, taking it for the first ride. It was fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Stay tuned for next one. And until next time, we are out.